welcome back to my channel. So today's video is super exciting because I'm starting a new series here on my channel. This is going to be a new Get the Look series, which I'm super excited about. I have a feeling that this intro will probably be very long, so I'll put a timestamp here on the screen, and then I'll also put it in the description box if you do want to skip forward and you don't want to hear all this rambly mess stuff. I totally get it and all that kind of stuff, so if you don't want to listen to this, you can just skip forward to there. But if you do want to hear about this new series and you do want to hear about all of it, just, you know, keep listening to me, keep watching me. So I got this idea a couple months ago and I was like, okay, I'm making this into a series. This is, this is it. So today's video is going to be a get the look on a YouTuber and you already know who it is by the title, but I got this idea a couple months ago and I was like, what about, what if I make a series that's specifically on YouTubers and getting their looks and all that stuff and like customizing it that way. So I'm really excited about this series and everything. This is going to be my get the look YouTuber edition series. I haven't come up with a clever name yet so if you can help me pick a name or if you have an idea for a name of what I should call this let me know down below I'm thinking of like get the look vlogger series or get the look youtuber series something like that and so today's get the look first edition vlogger series is on Karen from KK and baby J if you don't know who KK and baby J is what rock are you living under I'm sorry but like seriously and I had to wear their merch today for the video so that's their merch and everything which you'll see in the video it's part of what of the looks and everything. So today I'm going to be creating Karen's look. So I did her inspired makeup, hair, and outfit and I had so much fun with this. I love Karen's look because it is very natural. She doesn't wear, really wear much makeup and I kind of took what she already wears and kind of put like current trends on it. So I kind of wore more eyeshadow. I kind of, you know, went with that and all that kind of stuff while still keeping it very natural, which I love and everything. And I really like the hair. I kind of did her hair as best as I could on uh, myself and I am brunette and she is blonde so yes it's a little bit different you know hair is hair makeup is makeup skin is skin outfits are outfits like you can still create the look without having every single product or being exactly the same as somebody just keep that in mind if you want to recreate this look you definitely can do it it's definitely doable I feel like I got the look so yeah I really like this look it's just a very simple makeup look this is honestly something I would wear on days where I don't really feel like putting on my makeup and I felt and it looks just so natural and just it's glowy and stuff like if I could describe her makeup and just style it's casual but it's very cute and comfy she always just looks cute even when she's like oh I didn't even like do anything today she always looks good so this is such a fun look to do so like I said I have hair makeup and two outfit choices for you and everything like that and yeah I'm way too excited so if you're excited to see my first edition I guess the first episode in my get the vlogger get the look kind of thing you're in the right place just keep on watching okay so we're gonna start off with the makeup and everything so I've pulled pictures off of Karen's Instagram and everything like that I'll put them on the screen and everything all the pictures that I have like I guess envisioned for this look Karen does very like natural makeup being a mom of two and expecting now I'm so happy for them I just have to say that in this video I'm so happy for Karen and Kwa and the kids and their family I'm so happy happy for them and everything like that like I don't know I just felt so hard touched like I I I'm fangirling I'm sorry she does very natural makeup she doesn't really wear much makeup but I'm gonna kind of do this with like makeup trends and stuff like that and yeah I'm still gonna keep it natural and still keep it true to her look so I think Karen uses like the tart straps thing like the uh, I don't know what they're called the radiant straps I think that's what they're called but I do not have those so I'm gonna use something very similar it's gonna give me the same look and I'm gonna be using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Dewy Face Primer and everything. I love this primer. It just gives you the most natural glow and these are just amazing and they're also like really cheap which is what I love about it. It looks like a face tone and then you put it on your face and then you just get this nice natural glow and everything. I love this primer. It is so amazing if you just want to glow up. Okay so now that we're all glowed up now we're gonna go on to the foundation. Now I know Karen doesn't really wear heavy foundation or anything like that and I don't personally like wearing super heavy foundations either. I know she uses the Clinique but I don't use that. I do want to try out the Clinique, the one that has like the wand. But 
I don't have that currently, so I'm gonna go for something different. So the foundation I'm gonna be using is the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir Foundation. This is very lightweight foundation. It honestly doesn't really feel like much on your skin. It's very natural. So this is the foundation I will be going for today. Okay, so I'm just gonna pump my foundation right onto the sponge. I'm gonna do like two pumps. I feel like that'll be enough foundation. This has a very natural finish, but I wanna keep it on the lighter side since Karen doesn't really wear that much makeup and everything. I don't want it to look like I'm wearing too much, you know what I mean? And the sponge is great for this just because it's going to like, just make it as natural as possible. It's not gonna look cakey or anything like that. So I'm just gonna blend this. <laughs> Okay, so now the foundation is on and we're all good. So now we're gonna go on to concealer. And the concealer I'm gonna be using is the Tarte Shape Tank Concealer, which I know at one time Karen did use this concealer and everything, even if you don't have the same products as I'm using or the same products that she uses, like you can create the same look still. I'm gonna use this concealer just because I feel like using it and everything. So I'm not gonna apply much because I don't want the makeup to look heavy like I've mentioned. So I'm just gonna apply like a little bit under my eyes. This is also very thick concealer, so you don't need much. So I typically just use whatever's on the wand once. So I'm just gonna go on the high points of my face, so like in the center of my eyebrows, nose, under my eyes, a little bit on the eyelids, but I'll go on the sides there. And then I'm also gonna go on to my chin. And this is just gonna conceal everything, but also just give a highlighted look and I look crazy. So let's blend this. I'm trying to think of what my favorite vlog is. I like love every single vlog and everything. Like I just do. I just, I, they're my favorite vloggers like ever. They're like the people I can watch every single day, not be bored. I don't know. I really liked their vlog that was their New Year's, I think it was, vlog. I really liked that one. That was their year, like the 2017 video. I really love that video. So everything is blended and it looks very, very natural, which I love. I love how I can still see that glow and everything. So for powder, I'm just going to use this Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. I'm just going to set under my eyes, then anywhere we're going to be putting like powder products, you know, blush, stuff like that, just so it applies smoothly. So I'm not baking or anything like that. I'm just setting with the sponge. I find this just gives a more natural look and everything. So I'm just gonna set everywhere with this and I'm just setting very, very lightly. Okay, so my eyes are already primed because I'm just gonna use concealer prime them today. Okay, so now we're gonna go on to eyeshadow. I know Karen doesn't always wear eyeshadow. If she does, it's like on very rare occasions. So usually I notice in pictures that usually she might have like a highlight on the inner corner and her eyes do look very defined so I feel like the need to do eyeshadow so that's what I'm gonna do. So the palette I'm gonna be using is the Tarte Toasted palette which is my favorite. I love this palette. So I'm just gonna take this BH Cosmetics flat top brush. This is the 120 brush. I'm gonna take this color which is called S'more and I'm just gonna take this and I'm gonna set that lid just to just make sure the shadows are gonna stick but it also gives a nice base. So I'm just gonna set the lid real quick. In the crease for just a natural transition, I wanna go with something very natural, so I'm thinking latte, but I also want some warmth to be to it, so I'm gonna also take cashmere, which is that one. So mostly taking latte, but we will also take a little bit of cashmere just to give it warmth, and we're gonna just apply this into the crease. This is gonna give a very natural, defined look. I'm first taking a fluffy brush and just blending it everywhere. And the brush I'm using, by the way, is the Morphe M441. It's just a very tapered blending brush. And I'm gonna keep my eyes open and I'm going to blend these shadows like really nicely. Then I'm just gonna take the Beach Cosmetics 101 brush and kind of blend this with just the clean blending brush. We're just gonna start by blending a bit. So now I'm gonna go on to the lid shade. I don't really wanna do something that's too much, but I also want there to be something on the lid, just, you know, a little bit of something, something. So I'm gonna take the color Sunrise and apply that to my lid. We're just gonna start with this and then we'll see if we wanna add more or what. Just tapping off and then I'm going to go right on 
to that lid. This is just a very light kind of champagne, I don't know, white color, which in pictures, whenever I see like Karen wearing some type of thing on her lid, it's usually like a white champagne hybrid kind of thing. And I want a little more because I don't really find that's really doing much for my lid. So I think I'm gonna mix it with sunset, so sunrise, sunset. I'm gonna go up to the grease, but not go into the crease. And yeah, this is just gonna add a little bit more to the lid and give it some. I'm just gonna take the kind of blender crease thing and I'm gonna take just latte, tap off all the excess and then blend into the crease. And I'm even gonna go in the outer corner just to give it something there too, just to define basically that's why we're doing this. We're just gonna try and define everything. And then again, taking the 101 brush and we're just gonna blend some more just so there's no harsh lines. We don't really want it to look like too much we just want it to be there. Then I'm going to take this shade, which is called Cozy, and I'm just going to go in to that very outer corner with this just to add some depth to the eyes, but we're not going to make it look like much. We just want to kind of like stamp it there. Then we're taking Latte again just to blend that kind of together. And then again, I want to go in with Sunrise and Sunset just to really make this apparent. I just really want this to be the main focus. So I'm almost going over that darker color, but it's still gonna be there if you know what I mean. This might seem a little much for Karen's look, but I feel like this is really, really pretty. And I feel like with current trends, this was something she would wear like, you know, on those special days. And then I'm just going to highlight the inner corner with sunrise. And then I will apply a little bit of s'more and sunrise to the brow bone. So I'm just gonna take this brush, Take sunrise and go on that inner corner. It, we don't want it to be too intense, but we also don't want it to be nothing. So we're gonna take this and go on that inner corner of my eye. And then I'm going to take s'more and sunrise and go on that brow bone to highlight a bit. So yeah, like I said, those are the eyes. I just feel like those are pretty natural. It's a pretty simple look if you wanted to go simple, but I feel like, I don't know, in my opinion, this is what I envision Karen's eye shadow to be. I don't know, that's just me. So for brows, I know at one point Karen did have her brows microbladed and stuff like that. I think she still does, but I don't know if it's like as apparent. I don't know. My eyebrows are actually pretty good. And I'm not gonna like try to create her shape and everything like that. Like eyebrows are eyebrows. I never try to do that for any of my looks. But I'm just gonna use the Essence Make Me Brow. This is a great brow gel. It's like literally $3 at Ulta. They don't sell at Target anymore. I'm so disappointed. They literally took this brand out of Target and I am so disappointed. Anyways, I'm just gonna brush this through my brows to give them like a natural look. I don't like a too thick of a brow. And I know Karen's brows are always pretty natural okay I feel like those are defined enough so now we're gonna go on to mascara okay so now mascara I actually discovered this mascara through Karen she talked about it in a vlog like a while while back this is the Clinique flutter lash full something mascara you basically have three powers you do each layer and everything mascara is mascara though like pretty much any mascara will work this one's kind of like a three-step mascara but like any volumizing lengthening mascara will work mascara is mascara. I know this is her favorite mascara because she's mentioned it, so I'm gonna apply mascara to give myself very full eyelashes. <music> mascara is done. Lashes looking great. Okay, so now on to blush. I think she wears like a pinky or rosy or just any like nude pink kind of color. So I'm just gonna pick my favorite. So I'm just gonna use the Tarte Concept Blush, which I really like. It's like a nude pink. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit of this to my cheeks. Not too much, just a little bit to give them a rosy tint. Healthy look. <music> And I don't think Karen uses bronzer like on a daily basis, but I wanna use some today just to give my face color and just to find my face a bit. So I'm gonna use the Tarte Parquet Princess Amazonian Clay Bronzer, which just looks like that. And I'm just gonna apply it around the parameters of my face. <music> And 
then just blending everything out with this brush just so it's not too crazy just so we can still have that natural look now for highlight i think she uses like a champagne type color so that's what i'm gonna go for this so i'm gonna use the wet n wild make glow highlighting powder in blossom glow i'm gonna take my fan brush just because it applies it the best and apply it to my cheekbones <music> Done a little bit on my nose, not much. A little bit on my forehead. Just want an overall glow. And then taking this, just gonna go on the higher part of my cheekbone as well, kind of going all over. And then we just have to do lips. So I have a couple different options. In the pictures, I found she was wearing like a almost like a brownie pink, but I know she wears like pinks and stuff like that. So I think I'm gonna go kind of that route. So I was thinking this color. This is the Bite Beauty Mouge Bouge lipstick in sugar cane. This is the color I was thinking of, but this one for Maybelline, the Maybelline Matte lipstick in almond rose it's also very similar but also kind of that same look and then i have a couple others that would work but i think i'm just gonna go with this one and yeah i'm gonna apply sugar cane from bite beauty it's just gonna give us that pretty natural pink <laughs> And then I'm just gonna use a little bit of setting spray just cause I wanna make it look extra natural and this is what this kinda does. Kinda just gonna get rid of that powdery look which I don't think we entirely have but I just wanna make sure. And then going over with this sponge just to make it super duper natural. And yes, yeah, so this is it for the makeup. I really love how it turned out. The eyes, the lips, the everything. Really loving this natural glow. And now on to the hair. Okay, so I'm just gonna brush my hair out real quick. And I wanna do a half up. I wish I had a scrunchie because I saw in their vlog the other day which don't know when this is going up, so probably a long time from now, but when I'm filming this, it was the other day. But anyways, in the vlog the other day, Karen was wearing like her hair in a half up style. Like I think it was a half up ponytail or bun, I forget. She was wearing it in that style with a scrunchie and I wish I had a scrunchie so I could do that. I wanna order some because I wanna do that look either way, but I'll just try to create it as close as I can. So I'm gonna brush out my hair first and then I'm gonna pull it up or get it ready to pull up for half up half down figure out how much hair i need i feel like this is a good amount of hair and then i'm gonna wrap it so i think i need a little bit more hair trying to get nice bun Ooh. and then to make it bigger i'm just gonna pull it apart and then i'm gonna brush the bottom half of my hair this is the hair really like it and i just felt like this is not too simple of a hairstyle but it's also not very complex it gives the idea of how karen wears her hair but without being like oh i just brush it out and make it straight now on to the outfits i'm gonna have so much fun with it. so here's outfit one i'm of course wearing my kk and baby j shirt i believe they still have it on Teespring, so I'll link it down below if they still have it up. So I'm just wearing that, so that's their merch. And then I'm wearing these little leggings from Old Navy and everything. I love these leggings. Old Navy leggings are actually my favorite, so I'm wearing these. I love them. They have the little slants and everything on the legs. Just love them. They're great. Now on to outfit number two. Okay, so for outfit number two, I wanted to go with something. I wanted to go with something striped, but I just couldn't find any of my good striped dresses in like casual dresses in my closet. They're probably at my school closet. Like since I'm in college right now, I have two closets, I guess. So I went for this because I've seen Karen wear, wear stuff like this before. So I just went for this shirt that has like, you know, like the cold shoulder style. So yeah, just wearing this. It's from Marshalls, I believe. And again, same leggings from Old Navy. So yeah, that was it for episode one, I guess we're calling this, and my first edition in the Get the Vlogger Look series. If you have any name suggestions, like I said in the beginning, be sure to leave those down below. I'd love to hear about them and all that kind of fun stuff. Again, I really, really love this look. It's just so natural and just so basic, but also very cute, which I love. And I just love this look that I created and all that kind of stuff. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And also, if you could tweet this out, to Karen that would mean so much to me like if she saw this I will probably fangirl I've probably already been fangirling because everybody that knows me well knows that I love KK and Baby J I love 
Karen, I love Kwai, I love Jackson, I love Landon, I love their whole cute little family, like I seriously do, like watch the vlogs every day, like right on time. I am such a fangirl. And comment down below which vlogger series I should do next, like which vlogger's look I should steal or recreate next. Let me know that down below and yeah, please subscribe if you haven't already because I post videos every single week, usually every Friday and sometimes bonus days depending what's going on. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day, night, whenever you're watching this, and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Stay weird! <laughs>